Andy Sugden in Emmerdale is one of the show's most iconic characters, from the Dale's most famous family. But what's his story, where is he, and will he ever return? Andy Sugden in Emmerdale It may be a surprise but Andy isn't actually a Sugden by birth. He arrived in the village as a foster child for Jack and Sarah Sugden back in 1996. Poor Andy had a tricky start to life. His mother died and his dodgy dad, Billy Hopwood, ended up in strange ways. When Andy's grandmother, who looked after him while Billy was in prison, died, he came to Emmerdale. He was eventually officially adopted by Jack and Sarah in 2000. Andy may have been considered part of the family by Jack and Sarah but he's been causing trouble for the Sugden family since he arrived. First up, Andy tried to help when his new parents' marriage hit a rocky patch and Sarah had an affair with Richie Carter. Thinking he was going to do Jack a favor by letting him claim on insurance, Andy set fire to the barn. But Sarah and Richie were inside and poor Sarah was killed. Because Jack had threatened Sarah and Richie in the Woolpack shortly before the fire, he was accused of murder. Years later, Andy's sister Victoria tracked Richie down and he told her he was responsible for the fire, to protect Andy. But the truth came out and Andy served time in prison for the crime. Though Andy was Robert's friend before he became his brother, the Sugden siblings have had a troubled time. Things got tricky when Robert had an affair with Andy's fiancée, Katie, back in 2003. Andy was furious when he found out about the betrayal and ended up accidentally shooting his dad. The feud continued, though, and only ended when another angry argument ended in the accidental death of Max King. Knowing he was responsible for his friend's untimely demise, guilt-ridden Robert left the village. But when Robert returned, in 2014, the battle between the brothers was back on. By then Andy and Katie were back together and planning another wedding. Katie discovered that Robert was sleeping with Aaron Dingle. And in desperation to keep his secret, on the day of his wedding to Chrissy White, Robert pushed Katie through some rotting floorboards to her death. When heartbroken Andy found out the truth, he made a deal with Ross Barton, who was feuding with his brother, Pete. He agreed he would kill Pete, if Ross killed Robert. Ross kept his side of the bargain, shooting Robert, but Andy couldn't go through with it. Robert did survive. When Andy left the village, he and Robert made up. Who is Andy Sugden in Emmerdale married to? Andy's first love was Katie Addyman. The cute pair were teenage sweethearts and tied the knot twice, first in 2004 and then again in 2014. When Andy got together with Joe Stiles, the pair seemed happy, but when Andy came out of prison, he was troubled and aggressive and beat Joe up several times. The couple eventually divorced and Joe left the village. Andy later had a steamy romance with his stepsister Bernice Blackstock, and then reconciled with Katie. Who are Andy's children? When Andy's first marriage broke up, he began a romance with underage Debbie Dingle who got pregnant and had his baby, who they named Sarah after Andy's adoptive mum. A few years later, with Sarah desperately ill, the pair had baby Jack, named after Andy's dad, as a savior sibling, for his big sister. Andy Sugden leaves the village. After Katie's death, Andy started a romance with Chrissy White, his former sister-in-law. But Chrissy was furious when she found out about his affair with Bernice, who by now was her stepmother, as well as Andy's stepsister. Talk about keeping it in the family. In revenge, Chrissy framed Andy for shooting her father, Lawrence. The real shooter was her troubled teenage son, Lachlan. With a bit of help from Robert and Bernice, Andy fled the village on the day of his trial and hasn't been seen since, not even when daughter Sarah was seriously ill again.